Acids and bases are found everywhere, even in the food you eat. In fact, the acidity in certain foods is what makes them so yummy. Two men in 1923, independent of each other, both formed a theory now called the Bronsted-Lowry theory of acids and bases. These men were Johannes Nicholas Brunstiv, who hailed from Denmark, and Thomas Martin Lowry from England. This theory essentially says that when acids and bases react together, they will exchange a proton or the hydrogen cation, or H+. The proton is always exchanged from acid to base. This exchange is also called a proton transfer reaction. In this reaction, the chemical species releasing the proton, or acid, becomes the conjugate base, while the chemical species that accepts the proton, or the base, becomes the conjugate acid. It must be stated that the net charge has to be equal on both sides of the reaction arrow. So the acid and the base must be equal. Sounds very similar to Newton's third law of motion to me, equal and opposite. So in all proton transfer reactions, if the base is what's known as electron rich, it will react with electron deficient acids. When this happens, an electron will pair with the acid, which has a partial positive charge, ergo electron deficient. It should also be noted that this theory comes with some common approximations. Number one, organic reactions are made by common acids and bases used in the same way. Number two, hydrogen will always be the acid if only one compound contains it. Number three, the compound with the positive charge will more than likely be the acid and the negative charge will almost always be the base. So next time you're eating or even checking the chemical levels in your pool, you'll be able to see the theory put to work at the macro level. Thank you.